Hello everyone, today our topic is how to automatically add Google Calendar events to Coda Docs. So here our objective is that whenever we create a new event in our Google Calendar, then we want to capture the details of that event and then we want to add these event details automatically in our Coda Docs. For that, we will create an integration between Google Calendar and Coda. For creating this integration, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Calendar. In Action application, I'm going to use Coda. So how I am going to create this integration, for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how I can connect Google Calendar and Coda together such that whenever we create a new event in my Google Calendar, then I want to capture the details of that event and I want to add these details in a new row in Coda database. So Coda is a cloud-based multi-user new doc software which allows users to plan, organize and create documents as a team or individually. So here my objective is that whenever I get a new event in my Google Calendar, then I will add a new row with the details of the event in Coda docs. So for this, I need to create an integration between Google Calendar and Coda. So for that, I will open a new tab and search for Pabli.com and this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here I have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get 100 of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we want to create a new workflow. For that, I'll click here on Create Workflow button. And this window will pop up. Now I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to automatically add Google Calendar events as a new row to Coda Docs. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And Trigger says when this happens, Action says do this. So Trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and Action will just follow that. So we need to set up our Trigger first. And here my Trigger application will be Google Calendar. So I'm going to search for that. I will select this. And I have to give a Trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A new event will be my Trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And I will connect Google Calendar with Public Connect. So I'll click here on Connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. Here I will click on allow to give access to my account. And my connection here is successful. Now first I have to select my calendar. So for this let's go to Google Calendar. And this is my Google Calendar account and in this I'm using this demo calendar. So I'm going to map this in Public Connect. So let's go back to Public Connect. So to select the calendar I'm going to open this tab. And in this tab, you will find all the calendars that you have in your Google Calendar account. I'm going to use this demo calendar. So I'm going to map this. And now I have to create a new event in Google Calendar. So for that, let's go back to Google Calendar. And I will click on this create button. And I will click on event. Now I have to give a title to my event. So my title will be new webinar. Now I'm going to select the date. So my date will be January 3 and the timing will be 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. Now we'll give a description to my event. So for the description, I'm going to click here and my description will be this webinar is to discuss about the topic subatomic particles. So this is going to be my description. Now I'm going to click on save. On 3rd of January, I have created this new event and the title of my event is new webinar and the description is this webinar is to discuss about the topic subatomic particles. Now I will go back to Public Connect. And here I will click on save and send text request button. And here we can see I have received this new response. 
And if you don't get this response instantly, then don't worry. This is a polling based response. And within the 10 minutes, you will get your response. In every 10 minutes, Google Calendar will send you the new responses of the new events that are getting created in Google Calendar. Now let's see what we have in our response. So the title of my event is new webinar and the start date is 3rd of January 2024. And this is my calendar, which is of demo. And the description is this webinar is to discuss about the topic subatomic particles. So these are the details of the new event that I have created in Google Calendar. And I'm going to use these event details and I'm going to add these details automatically in a new row in my Coda database. So for that, I need to set up my action tab, and I'm going to open this tab. And here I'm going to search for my action application, which is Coda. I'm going to select this. Now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create row will be my action event. And I will connect Coda with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And to connect Coda, I have to give a API token. So to get this API token, I need to go to my Coda account. So I will go to Coda. Here, I will click on my profile and I will click on these three vertical dots and I will go to account settings. Now we'll scroll down and I will find API settings in this. So this is my API settings and I have to generate new API token and I will click here on generate API token and I have to give the name to my token. So I'm going to name it as testing. I will click on generate API token. And here I have this API token. So I'm going to copy this token. So this is copied. Now I will go back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to paste my token. And I will click on save. So I have connected Coda with Pabli Connect. Now I have to fill all these details to add the event details of my Google Calendar in Coda Docs. So first I have to select my doc. So for this, let's go back to Coda. And I will go back. And here I'm going to use this docs of event. So I'm going to open this. And in this doc, I'm going to use this table of Google Calendar events. So I'm going to map these two details in Public Connect. So let's go back to Public Connect. So to select the doc, I need to open this tab. And in this, you will find all the docs that you have in your Coda account. So I'm going to use this event doc. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to select my table. So for selecting the table, you need to open this tab and you will find all the tables that you have in your doc account. I only have one table, so I'm going to select this Google Calendar events. Now I have to map these three details. So this is going to be the details that are going to fill automatically in a row of my table. So first I have to give the name of my event. So I'm going to map that details here. So for that, I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I'm going to open the response of Google Calendar. And in this, this is the title of my event. So I'm going to map this. So this will be my event. Now I will map the description of my event. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Calendar. And in this, I have this description. So this is going to be my description of event. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to map my date. So for the date, I'll click here again. I will open this response. And in this, this is my start date. So I'm going to map this. So I have filled all my details that I want to add in a new row in my CUDA docs. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on save and send to request button. So I'll click here. And here we have this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have added these details automatically in a new row in my CUDA doc. So to check this, let's go to CUDA. And this is my table. And here we can see that I have added this new details in a row. And the event is new webinar. Description is this webinar is to discuss about the topic subatomic particles. And this is the date 3rd of January 2024. So I have added these details automatically in a new row in Coda. And this is the details of the new event that I have created in Google Calendar. So I'm adding all the details of the new event that I'm creating in Google Calendar automatically in a new row in Coda doc. So here we have created this integration between Google Calendar and Coda and it is successfully working. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here I have created this integration between Google Calendar and Coda such that whenever I'm creating a new event in my Google Calendar, then I'm adding those event details automatically in a new row in Coda doc. So let's summarize what we did here. 
So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Calendar and my trigger event was new event. Then I have set up my action and my action application was Coda and my action event was create row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.